each summer, um, the NIH will pay for um, some of our medical students here on campus to participate in summer research experiences. And our uh, grant partners with about 10 other alcohol research centers from across the country um, to um, engage with students and serve as co-mentors with me. And so uh, we've had a lot of fun in its first year and have partnered with uh, a faculty member at Yale University and then one at Berkeley and UConn. It's just a lot of fun to get our students engaged with people um, outside of the school so that they can begin hearing about how others think about research and design and, and conceptualization of questions. Native Americans, along with the other um, subsets of, of ethnicities, have their own set of problems. You know, for us, it's alcoholism, um, uh, mental health, diabetes, hypertension, and so this one was going through for the, uh, the alcohol awareness and abuse prevention type thing. And so uh, we had the opportunity to kind of look at some alcohol statistics among reservations, among different nations. And uh, that was kind of one of the things that was kind of dear to us. And so, so we definitely hopped on and wanted to see what we could do about that. After I was approached and, and asked just simply to be a part of a uh, focus group and sort of help uh, him understand the perspectives that are unique, uh, that you can only really get from a Native American uh, about Native American specific issues, I was just like flattered. I'm like, oh, finally, awesome. I would love to, to share my opinion. And, but it was so cool to know that we could offer an opinion that could really affect change. Uh, and, and it was, it was what was gonna be uh, guiding his research proposal. We know that social media has its um, benefits. We found all the, uh, the tribes that had Facebook, which is about 25, 26, and we just kind of scoured their Facebook uh, post from the year 2019 to see if we could find anything that was health related or specifically anything that was alcohol prevention or awareness related. So unfortunately, there was a very small percentage of posts related to uh, alcohol content. Um, you know, we, we, we kind of had an idea that it wouldn't be as high, uh, but we feel I guess for our expectations, we thought it would be higher. And so that was kind of a uh, eye-opening experience. So Ian and I are currently working on a project on alcohol use disorder. We're actually looking at the proportion of um, sample demographics for each clinical trial. So we're looking at how many women are involved in these clinical trials on alcohol use disorder, how many people who are over the age of 65, how many people from racially and ethnically my, ethnic minority backgrounds are going to be involved in this. Um, because one thing that's really important about that is that females and minority um, groups are typically really underrepresented in these clinical trials, but proportionately they are more likely to suffer from alcohol use disorder and be affected by that and have worse health outcomes. So if these projects are not having um, minority groups, they're not having older adults, they're not having females in them, then their results aren't really helping us because we're not able to use those for the population that is actually affected by alcohol use disorder. I think alcohol is such an important issue um, because it affects so many people, um, including Native Americans. And so um, having a, a better understanding um, about alcohol um, and its effects um, across any people group I think is beneficial and um, it's I think it's for our native students it's a great way for them um, to engage um, perhaps and look at their own communities.